Well, thank you for being here. And I want you all to sit up straight in your chairs and take a breath. It's already been a long morning. And I can tell you just by taking one long, deep breath, you can increase the blood flow to your brain and the oxygenation in your body by almost 10%. That's what breath awareness does. So Carl Sagan said that science requires a strange mating between two contradictory tendencies. The willingness to consider even the most bizarre ideas, and at the same time a harsh skepticism requiring hard evidence to back up every claim. And my belief is that that's precisely why we are here in this audience. So congratulations for stepping out and requiring hard evidence and looking at everything. Pat yourself on the back for being here. I'd like to thank the organizers of this place for organizing this so that we have a platform to share these new ideas in medicine. Today I'm going to share with you a five-point model that I've developed over the last 10 years that has been successful in treating fatigue. And of course, most of you know that the number one complaint in the United States is fatigue and insomnia. We're seeing it everywhere. And of course, the number one growing popular supplements over-the-counter and over-the-counter drinks are going to be energy supplements. When we look at the correction to fatigue, nature gives us the best answers. If you look around, you'll see that animals follow their natural instincts. Human infants, natural instinct prevails. It's only as we transition into a phase where we start to avoid common sense and natural instincts, which is very much what might be exactly what has happened in medicine, and the paradigm shift is taking us from natural instincts and common sense, which started medicine 5,000 years ago, all the way to pharmacy and surgery, all the way back to the middle. These are our solutions, currently. Nothing that we're that uncommon or unfamiliar with. Instead of just lying down and taking a nap, that's what common sense tells us. Kick your feet up, take a nap. It starts to restore blood flow to the adrenals. The best way to restore blood flow to the adrenals is to Take your butt and stick it up against the wall and let your feet up the wall. It's a restorative yoga. It immediately restores blood flow toward the adrenals and you will feel a lot better. Try it. The fact of the matter is that the world naps. If you look at most of the world in ancient cultures, you'll see that most of them have an afternoon nap as part of their picture. We in our society believe that afternoon naps are actually something that isn't a good thing. If you look at Harvard Medical School, in 2009, their Sleep Institute came out with the following conclusion, that a short nap can improve memory, problem solving, creative thinking, focus, and performance. NIH came out last year with a study showing that six hours is not enough, because in six hours, we're not able to get full five 90-minute cycles is what you want in order to have sleep, and that means five full cycles that are uninterrupted, that ends up being restorative sleep and restoring all the organs and the immune system. So when your patient tells you, well, I'm sleeping for eight hours, but I'm getting up to urinate, well, if you think, if we've got your sleep to N3, if you look at the slide before, oh, I guess it doesn't do that. Does it do that? Oh, yeah, it does. If you look at the slide before, it goes from light sleep to deep sleep, which is N3, multiple times. And when we use medications to help us sleep, we can never reach N3, which means we're never going to actually restore hormonal values and immune system like we should. But what are our options? And obviously, I'm giving you the five-point model for fatigue, and I'm telling you that if you sleep, you could probably correct it and take a nap in the afternoon. 
And the fact is that we probably could.